welcome back welcome to this chapter halo alkanes and halo arenes for class 12 uh, we are in the sixth part of this chapter and in this part we are going to see about nomenclature of halo arenes so how we will name halo arenes before going into that detail first we will look into some of the basics Uh, that we should know or we should have a knowledge about before going to the naming of the halo uh, halo arenes okay so here we have a benzene ring so we have total of four benzene ring and uh, in this benzene ring we have two substitutions one in this carbon and the next one in this carbon so the substitutions are uh, or if you are numbering the carbons you can number this as one and this as two or the other way around this as one or this as two anyway if the substitutions if there are two substitutions and if the substitutions are on adjacent carbon atoms two substitutions and if the substitutions are on adjacent carbon atoms that is in one and two if the substitution is in carbon one and carbon two then this substitution or this substituted benzene is called ortho benzene ortho substituted benzene so it's called ortho position denoted by o dash clear so if it is just on the adjacent carbon atom then that substitution is called ortho position whereas if the two substituted groups are one one in carbon 1 and the other one is in carbon 3 not adjacent but not that far away intermediate between that so it is in 1 and 3 then it is called meta position whereas if they are far away that is the far away uh, carbons are first carbon and fourth carbon so 1 2 3 4 if the substitutions are taking place in this position we call the para position so ortho means just near to uh, nearby carbons meta means and um, if you look para that means the farthest carbon atoms are substituted and meta in between ortho and para it is the meta position clear so these are di substituted benzene in di substituted benzene we have such positions like ortho para meta and sometimes all the substituents are the same and they might be occupying first third and fifth carbon atom so there there will be a symmetry in the molecule since there is a symmetry sometimes this is also called as symmetrical substitution symmetrically substituted benzene so the substitution benzene can be either ortho or a para or meta so ortho means it is nearby that is in one and two carbon atom para means it is the farthest carbon that is one and four whereas if it is intermediate in one and three it's called meta and if they are all the same group that is substituting and if it comes in one three and five positions if there are three substitutions here there are three substitutions and if it is three then it is called symmetrical substituted benzene clear now let's starts with the nomenclature of halo arenes so the first compound here you have a benzene ring and we have uh, two substitutions one is in this carbon that is substituted substitution of chlorine and the second one is ch3 so here there was initially hydrogen atom that was replaced by chlorine here also there was one hydrogen atom that was replaced by ch3 so according to the previous slide they are in the ortho position so this type of uh, naming is adopted in trivial method in iupac still we have the same type of naming where ortho para and meta names are not accepted so ortho para and meta positions are used generally for naming when when the naming is in the trivial method if it is a common naming clear so which carbon to be choose 
to be chosen as first carbon so when it comes to naming of benzene you can go for any carbon the thing is like when you are numbering the substitutions the sum of substitutions must be lower so let us start so here if i am giving chlorine as number 1 the carbon where chlorine is substituted is number 1 then now the parent carbon or parent um hydrocarbon is not hydrocarbon the parent is chlorobenzene parent is chlorobenzene then the second carbon or the substitute of the second carbon will become a branch clear so uh, what is the name of the parent it is chlorobenzene name of the parent is chlorobenzene and we have a branch so chlorine actually is given as a prefix so we can say that benzene is the parent and a chlorine is a prefix in that compound we have we have a substitution on the second carbon that is methane so the name will be 1 chloro 2 methyl benzene so it will be 1 chloro 2 methyl benzene so let us uh, talk about the other way around how so if i am considering this carbon here as one then chlorine will be the second one so if i am considering this as one now the benzene along with this substituted compound will be the parent clear so benzene with this compound we have learned benzene with the ch3 is called toluene isn't it so if i if i am excluding cl benzene and ch3 so i will try to explain this a little bit more uh, detail so let us see so i can take two parents one i can take the parent which i can take is cl so if i am taking cl as the parent then the substitution coming here will be its branch so what's the name of this parent the name of the parent is chlorobenzene clear so if i am number giving the number 1 here for this carbon this will be the parent so it is 1 chlorobenzene isn't it but if there is a substitution then automatically it is not just 1 chloro then this substitute is called 2 methyl so there are two substitutions 2 methyl and 1 chloro which will come earlier chlorine because it's first in the alphabet so it will be 1 chloro 2 methyl benzene on the other hand if i am taking ch3 as the parent so let us see if i am taking ch3 so again i have a benzene ring i have a benzene ring and i am taking the carbon attached to ch3 as the first carbon then this is parent and this has a name trivial name called toluene and iupac has accepted this name so you can take na- you can take the name toluene in order to name this compound and if i am taking toluene then this will be this will be the second carbon so here it will be chlorine which means that it is 2 chloro toluene so let us see the name so either it is 2 chloro toluene if if this is the if if this is the naming then the carbon attached to the toluene the toluene is the parent so the carbon attached to the parent chosen will be the first carbon clear first carbon of benzene will be this one whereas if i am choosing this as the first carbon then this will become the second carbon so it is 1 chloro 2 methyl benzene so when it comes to the substitution benzene and naming of benzene you have complete freedom to choose uh, a substituent whichever substitute the only point is that when you are choosing the branches the order of numbering so you cannot go like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 you have to choose the Uh, the sequence of numbering sequence of carbon so that the substituents will get 
the lowest sum of the substituents will get the lower number clear and what is its common name so they are in the ortho position so i can call it as ortho chloro toluene so it is like this ortho chloro toluene that will be its common name now next compound i have a compound like this in which ch2 methane group is there one phenyl group or a benzene group is here and a chlorine is attached so actually uh, if if we have a substitution like this and if that substituent substituent has a functional group on it then i have to choose that group as parent for example this is now parent since there is no any substitution on the benzene benzene has to be treated as a branch clear so i have carbon here and on the carbon i have another functional group that is halo group and i have benzene also attached to that carbon which does not have any substitution so in this case what i have to do i have to choose this as a branch so what is the parent parent is one carbon hydrocarbon that is methane so the name ends with methane and i have chlorine on that carbon chloro group and also phenyl so whenever benzene is the name of benzene is added as a prefix in the beginning then you have to add it as phenyl so let us see which is the parent parent is methane why i choose methane as parent because it also contain in addition to a phenyl group i have this chlorine attached to it so i have to take this compound this compound as as the parent so i have methane and on to methane there are two substituents attached to it that is chlorine or chloro and the benzene benzene you have to add it as a prefix if you are adding prefix then its name is phenyl clear so let us see so it is the what are the branches it is chloro i don't have to give the name number not the name so it is chloro i have to, i don't have to give the uh, number of carbon because there is only one carbon here so one branch is one substitution is chloro and the other one is phenyl this is actually benzene but when you are writing the name this name as a prefix we generally write as phenyl so what will be the what will the, be the name so c comes first so the compound name will be chlorophenyl methane so let us see that is chlorophenyl methane clear and what type of carbon is this in the classification we have learned when halo group is attached to a sp3 carbon and if that sp3 is attached to a benzene then that carbon is called benzyl carbon and this is the first member of benzyl carbon so this uh, benzyl halide so this compound itself is called as benzyl chloride so this is benzyl chloride if it is bromine here it is called benzyl bromide now the thing is clear that we have uh, uh, in the nomen while doing the nomenclature you can choose benzene as a parent if th there are substituents that are not substituted there are parents the, the, the benzene is the parent with the chlorine and ch3 so either you can choose this as a parent toluene or you can use benzene and say the constituents or the substituents as a prefix in this case whereas in this case uh, the substituent of benzene ch3 is having substitution with a cl so i am taking this as a parent clear so i will write a compound and let's see what we will do if such a compound is coming like this i have benzene i have benzene and imagine that there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 carbon atoms and there is no substitution neither on benzene nor on the alkyl group that is attached to it 
so which one will be the parent is it benzene or this carbon so you have to count the number of carbon atoms here there are six carbon atoms whereas on this there are seven carbon atoms higher the carbon atom it will be the parent more the carbon atom it is the parent so this will be the parent and this will be the the branch so you can say that one phenyl heptane so it is one phenyl heptane so the compound will be one phenyl phenyl heptane clear so that's the one thing that we have to learn there are a lot of other compounds which you can name but for the time being we don't have that much to learn about uh, the phenyl and its substituents so we'll further namings in the coming slides so here i have uh, to find give the i have to find out the iupc name and classify them as alkyl allyl or identify them whether it is alkyl allyl benzyl vinyl or aryl halides and also if it is sp3 carbon then i have to classify as primary secondary and tertiary if they are sp3 hybridized carbon atom so here first compound so to make it more clear i will try we, first what we have to do is we will first write the uh, real structure of the formula to simplify it so i have carbon to which ch3 groups three ch3 groups are attached so i have ch3 i have ch3 then i have ch2 then i have ch to which bromine is attached on one side and the, on the other side a benzene group is there other side a benzene group clear c6h5 means it's a benzene group so <clears throat> which will which one will be the longest chain the longest chain will be this one and from which side sh i should start numbering as you can see uh, more uh, the uh, branches are on this side so we will start from here one two three four it's butane and on butane first carbon has two branches bromine and phenyl group and third carbon has two dimethyl groups so we will start like this one bromo it comes first in the alphabet one bromo then we have uh, two methyl group on three on third carbon atom so three three dimethyl and again on the first carbon atom i have a phenyl group so it is one phenyl butane so if you are counting this is four and there is only there is there are six here then why did i choose this one because it's a branch it's a branched uh, parent chain so i have to choose this as the parent clear so uh, let us see the name one bromo so it is one bromo three three dimethyl three three dimethyl one phenyl butane and this carbon is a benzylic carbon so we can call it as benzylic halide and what is it this is since it is an sp3 carbon you can clearly say that uh, it is a secondary carbon why because it has two cc bonds on it since it has two cc bonds it's uh, um, a secondary carbon secondary halide secondary benzylic halide this one that is para chloro again we have c6 which means it's a, again benzene ch2 ch ch3 twice so let us see this compound so we will try to draw the structure so i have a benzene ring I have a benzene ring and uh, in para positions para position means this one and this one so in one position it is chloride and the other position it is ch2 given then i have uh, ch and to it it is attached ch3 ch3 clear so this is the compound that is given here if i'm drawing this structure it will be very clear for you ch2 ch C. so what is this we have learned this as a special branch it is nothing but butane and the butane to the butane it is attached to the 
primary carbon atom here. So you call it as isobutane. This is not normal butane. This is isobutane. Isn't it? So we have in one, in the, if, if I call this carbon atom as one, so we have one chloro four isobutyl benzene. Isn't it? One chloro two, uh, sorry, four isobutyl benzene. So let us see what's the name. One chloro four 2 methyl propyl so they have used uh, the IUPAC naming so instead of this I can also use isobutyl this is isobutyl or if you are naming you can name it like this so this is the longest chain 1 2 3 longest chain of the branch you have to start with the carbon that is attached to the benzene longest chain starting from here 1 2 3 and on the second carbon we have methyl so 2 methyl propyl carbon atom so it is propyl 2 methyl propyl benzene clear and the cl is attached to benzene so it is aryl halide now third one metachloro ch2 c6h4 so we have benzene and in meta position we have this group and this group in the other position in the first carbon atom and the third carbon atom so again we will try to draw it so Again, I have benzene, benzene, and in the first position and in third position. So, in the first position, I have CH2Cl, and in the third position, I have CH2, then C, then three CH3 groups. CH3. CS3 and CS3. See this. So there are this this substitute compound is, as you know, it is neopentane. So neopentane, or you can call by a UPC name. This is one. This is two. This is three. Longest chain. Then two two dimethyl uh, two two dimethyl propyl two two dimethyl propyl. And if this is one first carbon atom, this can be treated as the third carbon atom because this is two. 1 2 3 clear so it's 1 2 3 and on this chain i can either use iupac or i can use the special name that is accepted by iupac that is neopentyl in the third carbon atom in the first carbon atom it is um, in the first carbon atom we have chloromethyl one in the brackets this is special and this is another uh, branch you, which you have to enclose in because it has already a functional group so it is chloromethyl so let us see how it is named so one dash chloromethyl on third carbon atom i have two comma two dimethyl propyl or instead of this i can write neopendyl uh, neopendyl comma the neopendyl benzene so he, here I have taken this carbon as one. I can do the other way around. I can take this as one and this as three. Both are right. So in benzene, as I said earlier, it is up to you to choose which one is the first carbon. Anyway, this sum must be the smallest. Like you cannot take one, two, three, four, five. If I am taking this as five, the sum will be six. One plus five, six. Whereas if I am taking like this, the sum will be one plus three is equal to four. Which is smaller this one plus three is smaller so i will take this type of numbering now coming to the last one last one ortho bromo we have benzene here and in its uh, first position we have bromine and in the last position or in the fourth position uh, sorry in the second position it is ortho in the second position we have this group so let us again try to oh, sorry try to uh, draw that so I have benzene, I have benzene, in the first position I have BR group, BR group and in the second position what I have is CH, CH3, CH2, CH3. So I have this which means the branch is butyl butyl branch and attached to the secondary carbon so it is secondary butyl 
or how can you name it in IUPAC if I number this carbon attached to phenyl is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. So we have propyl and in that propyl I have one methyl as the branch. Clear? So it will be 1 methyl propyl. Isn't it? So it will be 1 methyl propyl. And also I have bromo. So 1 bromo, 2, 1 methyl propyl. Or instead of that I can say 2 secondary butyl. You can use both. So what will be the name? 1 bromo, 2, 1 methyl propyl. So 1 methyl propyl benzene. So it is attached to benzene. So it is aryl halide. Whereas in the previous case it was attached to methyl group. That is attached to the benzene. So I, I can call it as benzylic halide, which is of primary status. Clear? So moving on to the next. Write the structure of following compounds. I have to write the structure of the following compounds. So first I have para bromo chlorobenzene. So para bromo means first and fourth position on the benzene. So we will straight away look into it. It's first and fourth position. That's why it is para. Para bromo chlorobenzene. So I have both in the para positions. Next one. 2-2 chlorophenyl, 1- iodo octane. So what is the parent here? Parent is octane. So we will write that parent first. I have 8 carbon atoms. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. I have 8 carbon atoms. Clear in first position I have one iodo group that is shown here iodo group. In the second position so I have iodo group. In the second carbon I have in the second carbon I have chlorophenyl 2 chlorophenyl. So phenyl again is a benzene so I have a branch in this position that is phenyl group so I have phenyl group and in that I have a chlorine in the second position so this is the first carbon that is attached to the parent chain on the second I have a chlorine so this is that uh, branch so 2 chlorophenyl so this is first one this is second one so I have 2 chlorophenyl and rest you have to fill with with number of hydrogen atoms here there will be two here there will be one here two 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 and finally you have three so let us look into that compound. this is one iodo two in in the bracket you have to write two chlorophenyl as uh, octane so one iodo octane clear so this is how you got it now perfluorobenzene Perfluoro means on the benzene molecule, on every carbon atom, there will be one fluorine like this. So, this is perfluorobenzene. On every carbon atom, hydrogen is being replaced by fluorine. Every carbon atom has one hydrogen for benzene and that is replaced by fluorine atom. So, all the carbon atoms has one fluorine. This, is, this uh, compound is called perfluorobenzene. Clear? Now, next one. 1 bromo 4 secondary butyl 2 methyl which means that it has benzene has three branches so if i draw benzene on first position i have bromo on the second position i have methyl and on the fourth position i have secondary butyl secondary butyl means attached to the second carbon atom of butane so let us see that so i have 1 bromo 2 methyl in the second 2 methyl and on fourth carbon atom, I have this secondary butyl. Secondary butyl means it is attached to the second carbon atom of the butyl chain. Clear? So this is all about uh, naming of haloarenes.